Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today, we will continue to discuss on example for chapter 1.4 Work done and electric potential energy. So, uh, in a previous video, we already mentioned that we already learned that our work done is equal to test charge time change of the uh, potential. Okay, or we can write it as Q times V final minus V initial. Okay, so if you substitute Q into the equations, okay, we found that actually QV is actually our potential energy. So we can write as U final, U is potential energy minus U initial. Okay, so our work done is actually equal to the change of the potential energy. Okay, so uh, let us start with the example 11. A uh, negative Okay, negative test charge 0.75 mini coulomb traveling from x to y in an electric field experience a potential drop. Okay, drop meaning that it's reducing, so it's negative 200 volt. So now we want to determine the potential at y if the potential of uh, 20 positive 20 volt exits at point x. Okay, so meaning that uh, we need to find the uh, potential at point y. And we know that, okay, when the negative test charge traveling from x to y, okay, the potential is dropped, okay. So the change of the potential is equal to, okay, so from point x to point y. Here is the point x, this is the point y, okay. So it's from x to y, meaning that our v final minus v initial, where v final is v y and v initial is vx okay so when it travel from x to y the potential is drop a drop meaning that is reducing so it's negative 200 equals to vy minus vx where vx is 20 volt okay so therefore our vy is equal to negative 180 volt okay next we continue to find the work done in this charge transfer okay so our work done equation is equal to the test charge times the change of the potential difference so since the test charge is uh, negative uh, negative 0 0.75 milli so it's exponent negative 3 coulomb and the potential difference here is uh, negative 200 volt okay so the work done the answer is positive 0 0.15 joule okay so meaning that when we get work done equals to positive meaning that work done on the system okay so meaning that we need to do extra work for this system okay Determine the potential energy at Y and also at point X. So as we know, potential energy U is equal to Q times V. Okay, so if you want to find Y, so we must substitute V, the potential at point Y. Okay, so the test charge is still the same, negative 0 0.75 milli times the potential at point Y. Yeah? So it's negative 180 Therefore, the answer that we will get is positive 0 0.135 Joule. Okay, so the potential energy at point X is equal to QVX, where Q is a test charge, negative 0 0.75, exponent negative 3, and VX is a positive 20, eh? so it's positive 20. Therefore, ux, uh, the potential energy at point x is equal to negative 0.015 joule. Okay, so this is the answer for questions 11. Okay, next example 12. Two point charge q1 positive 2 microcoulomb, q2 is negative 6 microcoulomb are placed 4 meter and 5 meter from the point p eh, respectively. So now we want to calculate electric potential at point P. So meaning that we want to find at point P what is the electric potential. Okay, so since here we have two point charge, meaning that we will have 
to uh, electric potential that acting on point P. Okay, so if let's say we are referring to Q1, Q1 there will be a, a positive electric potential acting at point P, and this is the radius. Okay, so our VP is influenced by V1. Okay, and Okay, you will also experience a uh, influence on Q2 where this is the radius for Q2. Okay, so meaning that at this point, point P it experience or uh, influence by two point charge. Uh, the first one is Q1, the second one is Q2. Okay, so we plus V2. And since the electric potential is a uh, Scalar quantity meaning that we don't need to consider the direction, eh? so we just substitute in all the sign of the charges. Okay, so V is equal to KQ over R, where K is 9 exponent 9. Q is the point charge, eh? so V1, the point charge is positive 2 microcoulomb, and the distance is 4 meter plus. V2 is 9 exponent 9 and Q2 is negative. Eh? So remember negative here you must substitute into the equations because this is a scalar quantity. So you must substitute inside 6 exponents negative 6 and the distance is 5 meter. Okay, therefore Vp or the electric potential at point P is equal to negative 6300 volts. Okay, next question is B. If the test charge of 3 microcoulomb move from infinity to P, determine the change in the electric potential energy of this charge. So change in the electric potential energy is actually work done. Huh? Okay, because we know that work done is equal to change of the potential energy and also equal to Q times change of the electric potential. Okay, so here if let's say from P, this is P and uh, this is the infinity uh, where R equals to infinity. So we want to travel the test charge uh, Q3 here, the test charge from infinity to P. Okay, so meaning that uh, we need to find what is the work done. Okay, so work done is actually change in the electric potential energy. So we can substitute our work done equals to the test charge 3 micro coulomb and v final is vp yeah? okay where vp just now our answer vp is negative 6300 volt okay minus v initial so v initial is when r is infinity okay so when r infinity our v equals to kq over r when r is infinity our v is actually equals to zero so it's minus zero Okay, so the final answer for the change in the electric potential energy or we call it work done is equal to negative 1.89 exponent negative 2 joule. Okay, okay, C. When charge 3 at point P, so when you already reach point P, calculate the electric potential energy of the system. Okay, so now we want to find for the whole system. Okay, for the whole system of the charges. So, meaning that here we have three charges here. Okay, this is Q3, this is Q2, and this is Q1. Okay, so we want to find the electric potential energy of the system. Uh, meaning that we want to find the total electric potential energy. Okay, so as I mentioned just now, if let's say we have three charges, meaning that we have three uh, electric potential energy okay so meaning that the first one is between charge one and charge two so it's u12 and the second one is u13 and the third one will be u23 okay so we calculate u total or u system is equal to u12 plus u13 plus u23 okay so we substitute in k q1 q2 over r plus k q1 q3 over r plus k q2 q3 over r okay so a k we can factorize out 9 exponent 
9 exponent 9 and then q1 q2 here q1 is 2 micro and then q2 is a negative 6 micro over distance is 3 meter plus q1 and q3 yeah, q1 is 2 micro q3 is uh, 6 micro uh, 3 micro uh, it's positive 3 micro over 4 meter plus q2 times q3 uh, q2 is negative 6 micro and q3 is positive 3 micro over distance 5 meter okay so if you press calculator we found that the electric potential energy of the system of these charges u is equal to negative 5.49 exponent negative 2 joule okay so please click on the next video we will discuss on charge in a uniform electric field see you bye